Welcome to the first and only existing episode of the And Isaac Show. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing all you ladies and uh, men at home how to make hot cheglet. Hot cheglet is a traditional Irish based dish. It's made very commonly all the time over here. Everyone loves it. Uh, but I, I haven't really seen anything about it like in America um, or other countries that also exist outside of America. So uh, I thought I'd just make a video on it, you know, so um, people from all around the world can try the delicacy. Because like, I know it sounds a bit strange, but like we have it all the time over here. On my last video, I was also getting a lot of requests and comments asking like how I keep this shape and like my diet and workout routine. Um, I mean, a lot of it is, you know, gains uh, and crypto and stuff like that in the gym. But um, a big part of it is also uh, cheglet, you know. You can cook alongside with me as I'm going through the video. This video is broken up into two sections. The first section is what you will need. And the second section is how to make hot cheglet. Um, so let's get into the video. Things you will need Pot Pan Mug Things you will also need that I forgot to mention and make no reference to later Cheggs, hot chocolate, teaspoon, love I'm gonna eat it at the end um, So Stick around till then, till I eat the hot shaglet. So the mug I'm going to be using in this video is my pug mug, uh, which is actually quite entertaining because the word pug and the word mug rhyme. So it's it's like it's not only a mug but it's also a joke. So I thought it would be kind of a funny addition for the video. spoons but I find I put more in if I just pour it in so that's what I'm gonna do today and so you lightly break the eggs get them in the bowl you don't want any of the shell none of this can go in the bowl ruins the hot cheglet. So, I, I put a little bit too much force in there and I got some egg on the counter. That's what you don't do. So, this time I'm not going to do it, look. See, a lot less egg got on the counter there. So, that's, that's good. You're, you're gonna want a clean surface as well because if you don't have one, you see all the stuff on the counter I'm gonna eat with the eggs. I actually, I did forget to wipe down the, the counter, but um, it's not that important. That's good. And then finally you wanna mix the two together. And see, you can see it is cooked inside there. Actually, I probably use a bit too much milk. Um, and you, you wanna get that lovely brown. You see that brown? Actually, I probably should have used some more eggs, less milk. Um, so I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna add one more egg in, one more egg, just one. So some people um, some people don't always watch a pan. Like, you know, you gotta go to work, you gotta you gotta feed your kids, um, and some people don't have time. Me personally, sometimes I watch the pan. But I think there's nothing like hot chocolate with the day old hot chocolate taste. So um, it's optional, you know. Um, so leave down in the comments what you like to do with your hot chocolate pan.
So you want to start off slow, like that. Just get a bit in. Honestly, that's enough. That's that's all I'm hungry for right now. Um, so you're gonna want to leave it until until it starts to harden, and then you mix it up into a paste-like liquid. Um, it smells really good. Mm. People try and deny this, but hot chocolate is 100% vegan. You can have it if you're vegan. And like, it's good for picky eaters too. Uh, kids, toddlers, um, old people, everyone, all, all the categories of people love it. So yeah, it's really good. I forgot to mention it again, but you're also gonna need uh, one of these. Oh, uh, look, look at, that's, that's something special. It's really starting to come along. This is gonna be a good batch, guys. And if you send me your home addresses and your bank cards, I'll actually be able to send you some of this hot chocolate. <laughs> That's looking good. So a lot of people like to flip their hot chocolate around a bit, you know, cause like, it's just like, you can get, get all the, get all the angles of the hot chocolate. Cause there's, oh God, that's really starting to smell. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really good. I'd say it needs two more minutes maximum. You really want to get that dog food consistency. If you're not getting that, it's, um, it's not hot chocolate. That's exactly what I'm looking for guys. That is it. Finally, one of the most important things is the taste test. And um, like, I think that's probably a lot of the reason why people clicked on this video was to see me eat the hot chocolate and, and like how I react and like what it tastes like. So I'm just, I'm really excited to go on this journey with you guys. Uh, here we go. For real good. From the taste, I think you really get um you get the taste of scrambled eggs, um, but like imagine like scrambled eggs from a diner or something like that, like like uh, like cheap eggs, um, like no taste. But then you get hit with the aftertaste of the cocoa powder, and it's actually it's not very nice. It's not nice at all. Thanks for watching guys. You have officially made it to the end of the video. This is where I ask you to leave, go home, see your parents or your kids. I hope not your kids because you guys aren't my target demographic. And if you aren't one of my 10 subscribers, I don't know what you're doing here. I don't know how you found this video. But you are not welcome. You are welcome to join us, or you are welcome to leave right now. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, it means a lot. Uh, I made this for the 10 of you at home. I love you guys. Um, as you know, I make videos every six months, so if you want to catch the next video in the next six months, you know, you're going to have to stay subscribed. And yeah, thanks so much guys. This is the end of the video. I'm out of stuff to say. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know why you're still here. I can't, I can't leave until you leave. Go, like just click off the video. Exit out or just click off the YouTube app. Okay guys, and now for anyone who's stuck around this long, I've got one more little clip for you.